welcome back guys. We're outside because I need a room and I'm gonna talk to you about my what's in my camera bag for my upcoming Patagonia trip. Now, I'm gonna go to Patagonia for landscapes for the most part. That's, uh, that's my main thing and uh, everything in this bag is tailored to get the most out of that. Now, apologies for the uh, noises that are gonna be coming from outside. I live in an area that is supposed to be quiet but not this morning. Uh, apologies for that. Um, let's start with the backpack. The backpack is the Shimoda Action X30. I also have the 50, but I won't be able to bring that because the limitation from the uh, flight companies that I'm gonna use, uh, put that like outside of the limits of the carry-on. So unfortunately, I gotta use a smaller one, although I'm gonna be doing a lot of wild camping and a bigger bag would have been useful. Anyways, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to live with it. Let's start with the products. And before going to the actual photography part, I wanted to talk to you about one key product for every adventure. This is a headlamp. And a headlamp is key for, e for every uh, uh, landscape for photographer. In this specific case, I'm talking to you about the Trustfire H6R. Uh, link in the description and there's also a discount code KL20 for 20% off. Uh, and uh, why that is important? This is important because uh, if you're doing uh, landscapes, you're gonna be walking in the dark to get to your sunrise location. If you're doing landscapes, you're gonna be walking back to your car or your home or whatever when it's dark after sunrise, after the blue hour. So you are gonna find yourself literally in the dark. Also, in my case, I'm gonna be do wild camping for a while, so I'm gonna be finding myself a lot in the dark. A head torch like that with a long lasting battery is crucial to be, uh, to be sure that uh, you're not left in the dark. This specific one, I love it for a couple of reasons. It's super easy to operate, everything gets done with a button, and it's super powerful. Now, you, and you have your uh, uh, spotlight, uh, light over here, it's a 4000 uh, Kelvin CRI 95 uh, light, and it's got four different uh, power levels, and the, the most powerful is immensely powerful. It's uh, 1350 lumen maximum, and it's gonna illuminate up to 150 meters. And with that level of power, you are gonna get to uh, three and something, a little bit more of three hours of battery life. That is insane. And I tried it. I'm not just sticking to what the spec sheet says. Um, it, it really lasts that much. And also, when this is an intelligent one, because when the, li the battery life is getting uh, towards the end, it's not gonna let you in the dark. It starts dim its level to make sure that you still have get a little bit more juice out of this lamp uh, un until the battery is completely died. So it tells you that you're getting towards the end of the battery life and so it's a very it's a very clever solution. However, the maximum level of power is very, very, very bright. I was using it in a cave and it was too bright. Yeah, definitely, you definitely, you're not gonna need it for most of your usage. With the minimum level, which is enough to illuminate your path, you get up to 55 hours of light, which is insane. Now, uh, also, uh, together with the um, spotlight, you also have other uh, lights, which is the red light or your uh, floodlight with two different uh, power, and also the blinking red, red light. So everything is super simple. And again, it gets operated with one button. The light is uh, IP68, so even in, if you're under the, under the rain, under the water, like it's gonna survive. And it gets recharged via USB-C. The USB-C is hidden into one of the sides of the lamp. You just have to unscrew it and then you get access to the uh, USB-C. That is important because again, it protects it from uh, the, from the elements. Uh, the overall weight of this thing is 150 grams. It's not super lightweight, but once you have it in your head, it's not that bad either. It's just, it's normal. You get a very long lasting battery, which also, I forgot to mention, can be replaced if you ever need it. You can also angle the uh, torch 
the, the way you want. So super flexible. I am super, super happy with this product. Again, link in the description, 20% off with the code KEL20. Now, let's move forward to uh, this pouch that has cables, battery chargers, and all of that. Nothing fancy. It's a pouch where I keep my stuff organized. Also, this is the pouch where I store my DJI Osmo Action, the previous, the first model. This has been serving me well for four years now, I guess. And it's gonna be my vlogging camera. I don't wanna use too much juice out of the main cameras because again, I'm gonna be doing wild camping and so I'm not gonna have too much power. Although I have a solution for that as well. This stores all the accessories, all the batteries, everything. It's in this pouch over here. Now let's go to some more uh, battery, some more photography stuff. Battery pouch over here, nothing fancy. Filter kit, magnetic filter kit from Freewell. I uh, talked to you about this uh, filter kit uh, in this video over here or here. I never remember what that is. Uh, this is gonna be my on the fly uh, filter systems, but this is not the only one because this is my main photography filter kit that I'm gonna review once I'm back from Patagonia. This is the KNF uh, Professional uh, 100 millimeter filter set. I also have a, a GND uh, 100 to 150 uh, millimeters uh, in another um, section of the bag. And last but not least, in the front part, I have this uh, power delivery 25,000 milliamp uh, power bank. It is, this is going to be a key for what I'm going to do because, uh, again, I'm going to need power and this is, gonna, this is supposed to be doing it for me. Then I have lens cloths, uh, Allen wrench keys, nothing fancy on this section of the bag. And again, this section of the bag gets expanded if you, if, if you need, and I will need it because I need to be bringing tents and sleeping bag and all of that. So I will need a lot of room. Another product that I wanted to talk to you about is this uh, monopod that you see over here. This is the Manbili C666L monopod, which also has a handle, as you can see over here, because it can be used as a hiking stick. Now, if I extend it for its entire height, this thing is super high. I mean, I will never need all of that, but it's nice to have it when you need it. And the fact that I can also replace this rubber feet with a uh, spike, which I'm gonna do as I'm, when I'm walking, it's gonna help uh, because I'm not gonna bring my hiking poles, I'm gonna use this, and whenever I need a, to just use a monopod, I have this, which also allows you to remove the top handle like this, and if you need it, I'm not gonna do it this time because I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll need it, but you can put uh, tripod head over here. So very flexible product. Let's go have a look at the description below because I believe it's worth uh, the cost. It's not even that expensive. I believe it's uh, around 60 bucks or something like, like that. And the size of the tubes is big and it's carbon fiber. So I really, I really like it. And this is gonna come in super, super handy. Keep going with the product outside of the photography space. This is gonna be my main uh, vlogging stick or tripod. This is the uh, PG Witek Mantis tripod. Super, super, super good, especially for uh, vlogging because you use it like that and then in a heartbeat you can use it as a, as a tripod. Super, 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 super useful. And this is my main tripod, the Gihope L330C. I will review it once I'm back from Patagonia because I purchased it a couple of months ago and uh, I really want to, to know about this tripod because no one talks about it. And then finally, let's go talk about the photography. Actually, before going to talk about the photography bits, I will use these uh, PG Witek Beetle uh, clips for uh, my cameras because if it's not raining, if it's not super windy, I'm gonna rock two cameras at the same time, and I want them to be uh, outside of the bag, ready to use all the time. These two are super nice. I prefer them to the um, uh, Peak Design one because I've, I risk a couple of times to lose my gear because of those getting loose. This one is 
it's never happened, I purchased a second one because I find myself super, super happy with these. So super, super uh, recommended product as well. And now let's get to the important part of the backpack. So opening the back, I had to make some decisions, some uh, very difficult decisions on the gear that I wanted to bring. Now, as you can see, I'm rocking the medium mirrorless core unit here, which means I am not gonna bring the brand new 152-600 that I purchased, and I'll explain you why. But let's go by, uh, let's go in order. So my main photography camera is going to be the X-H2. Uh, this is with the six, uh, with the Tamron 72, 17 to 70 f2.8. Uh, it's my main uh, camera lens combination. Uh, I will also bring, as far as lenses goes, the Tamron 11 to 20 f2.8 and the Fuji 70 to 300 f4 to f5.6. On top of that, I will also bring something that I just purchased, which is the 1.4 teleconverter. And this is the reason why I'm not bringing the 150 to 600. I'm going mostly after. Uh, landscapes and so for landscapes the 70 to 300 is much more useful than uh, 150 to 600 which is also much much bigger and heavier so uh, and especially if you're going after wildlife you gotta plan your trip for wildlife so if there is occasional wildlife and I need something longer than the 70 to 300 the 1.4 total converter should help me enough of course I'm not getting to 600 I'm getting to uh, 420 or something like that but that's that's gonna that's gonna be enough. I can always crop, and I mean, there's no shame in cropping. So that's the reason why. This is also my microphone. It's been serving me well for years now, and it's gonna keep doing it. It's a really lovely microphone because it's small, compact, and it works super well. Last but not least, something that I've been thinking about for a long time, and I didn't know if I wanted to bring it or not, the uh, X106. Uh, I decided to bring it over because it's small enough that uh, it's gonna fit in my bag. It's uh, lightweight enough that it's not gonna weigh me down and I'm not gonna bring it all the time. Probably I won't bring it while I'm doing wild camping because my backpack is gonna be super heavy. But for the rest of the trip, I'm definitely gonna use it, especially for those uh, mundane situations that sometimes occur during a trip. So I'm bringing this and the empty, uh, the empty bit at the bottom of the backpack is going to be for the XH2S, which is filming me right now. So I'm only bringing this, I'm not bringing too many lenses, I'm not bringing too much stuff, because for wildlife, I am super covered with that. In this portion of the back, of the backpack I have the, as I mentioned, the uh, KNF uh, GND filter over here, and I will also bring a computer and a couple of hard disks because I need to back my stuff up. Of course, I'm not gonna walk and do the wild camping stuff with the uh, computer. Again, I gotta uh, trim the uh, weight down, but uh, it's gonna be part of my kit. I think I mentioned everything that I'm going to bring. And last but not least, because I almost forgot about it, this is crucial, the nice handy uh, <laughs> rocket pump to clean sensor lenses and all of that. Of course, I'm gonna have water bottles, I'm gonna have Camelback and all stuff, but that is more like the hiking and wild camping part of the trip, which probably you're not too much interested. In. Now, my plan for my Patagonia trip is to vlog in the two or three most, the three most important areas that I'm gonna travel to, which is Torres del Paine, which is um, Fitzroy, the area around Fitzroy, so El Chalten and Ushuaia, uh, and make three separate videos. On top of that, I will also do reviews of a lot of stuff after coming back from Patagonia. So if you're interested in any of the products that I haven't reviewed just yet, subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what do you think about it. Thank you, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. This is also my microphone, the uh, trusted uh, Video Mic Go uh, 2, uh, Video Micro Go 2, uh, no, Video Micro, I don't remember, I'll write it, I don't know what it's called.